three Waste Knot decks, yeah. Waste Knot I saw once in two events. So out of ten matches, I saw one Waste Knot deck. Uh, it was weird. I think I might have lost to it. Or was that... I don't know if that was an event or on the ladder. Because I only got one loss in each event. I think it was once to maybe the Waste Knot deck, yeah. Okay, get out of the slow Gurk mindset now. I've got to, like, mentally, consciously make a, make a, you know, reset in my brain. Shark Typhoon. I'm on the draw. I'm going to keep this. It's risky. Ah, beautiful. I'll play against this deck all day long. Um... I just have to have a march, basically, and I'm playing four in the main deck. Feels good. This matchup feels really good with four marches. Um, like the cheap instant speed interaction. It was just like Abzan Greasefang, same thing. Dina's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Darn. Okay. Well, they didn't make a treasure, so they can't combo this turn, uh, which means I can cycle a Shark Typhoon, try and find a white, but boy. I could have played white, tapped white source there just to miracle a white source for the temporary lockdown. Tempting, but oof. Temporary lockdown going to be very good here, I think. Yeah. Don't really care. Okay, definitely going to cycle this for zero. Okay, now we have our untapped white source. And uh, a verdict, and I just need to find one more white source. There it is. Pass the turn. So now I've got March up in case they try and go for a combo. Otherwise, we lock down. The problem is if they play an untapped land here. Okay, so they can uh, collect it company or whatever now. Uh, which, hmm. I think I'm fine taking three. This is interesting. So I could bait their company here. So I could go quick study on end step. They're going to respond collected company. They're going to put two things in the battlefield. If it's the combo, if it's Wild Growth Walker Amalia, they wipe my board. Uh, they wipe the board, but they don't have haste. This is post combat. So I untap. I march Amalia. We carry on with our lives, right? Like how it doesn't matter what they find off this collected company. The lockdown or the verdict is just going to wipe the entire board. So I'm going to bait them into doing it now. I actually want them to combo off. Yes, that's that's precisely what I wanted. And uh, they, uh, they, they're going to gain 80 life or whatever, but I don't give a shit. Oh, with Dina in play, though. Oh, I forgot about Dina. Dina kills me, right? Oh, that's what it is. I needed to march Dina. Ah, they whiff. Nice. Take some, take some damage here. Yeah, Dina's very good. I forgot how much damage this card does to me. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, never mind. I should have killed Dina. Yeah, 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 Dina kills me. I realized that after. I, this is not a card I see very often. I think it's a. It's not a four of in their deck. It's like a one or two of, right? Um, I should just Verdict here. It does let them get their veterans back. Like, I can't leave up March, so... Ah, uh, whatever. We'll do this. It wipes the treasure as well, right? They sack some creatures if they want. Sack the veterans, I guess. Sack one. You're going to lose your treasure anyway. You might as well, right? They have two cards left. So this game is basically over. They need to have another company or, yeah, Return to the Ranks won't do it. So it has to be another company into combo, but they're not going to be able to attack if they do it on their main phase. If they let me untap, they risk me countering it. So if they do draw a company, they have to immediately play it, basically. So we did get a little bit lucky there. They uh, they whiffed on the Amalia, because that would have killed us with Dina. I, I did not realize that. Yes, they finally figure out how to do it. That is the correct play. And this all gets taken away. And they've got a 1-1 one, one in the yard, and two cards plus the top of their deck. Let's see if it's good enough here. Pretty lucky. Like I said, they have to go for it immediately. And they whiff. Nice. Okay, food and a treasure, indeed. Mm. A lot of stuff I can do here. They have only one card in hand. I really need to represent a counter spell here. Because if they do get lucky again, like, they drew two companies. They only have two left. But if they draw the third company, that is still a way they... Nah, but with Verdict... Nah, we're just never losing here. Pass. This game's over.
Just have to fade a couple companies, that's all. Yeah, sure. Gain all the life you want. Yeah, Dina's scary. I think they only play one, right? What is this mug? Uh, what? This? Are you talking about this? It's a, it's a tumbler. Full of coffee, or it was. Is that what you're referring to, Torp? Hmm... Yeah. Take it. Am I gonna flip in an Emperor here? There's Amalia, so she's gonna die to Verdict. They're gonna gain a life, she explores. This, when it dies, right? Okay. When I Wrath, that's gonna gain them some life. But then Amalia will be gone. They get one Explore trigger, they have three mana here. Yeah, okay. I don't think this hurts us too badly here. Ooh, combo. Keep it on top. <laughs> yes! When I Wrath, that thing is going to be totally useless. Uh, Actually, I, well, yeah, I have marches and stuff. It won't matter, but they could actually draw, like, Return to the Ranks, because Supreme Verdict will put this stuff in the yard, so putting a Mali in the yard, they cast Return to the Ranks. They have nothing, so they're top-decking Walker. This is over. Um, Should I flip in Emperor just to have a play... I think I will. We're going to Supreme Verdict here. So I'm going to do this. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Letting them know they're going to die here. Right, right away. Okay, still have March up here because I can always exile the other March to kill a 2-drop. 6 life means I can pay the ward on Amalia if they find another one. But they're, they're going to top deck Wild Growth Walker here. Full stop. Right? That's all. That's their draw step. Do they have any way to draw cards? They can gain two life here. Sack, they can, yeah, sack of food. Make a food, whatever. Sure. Food, I guess, is relevant later for triggering life gain and whatnot, but... Yep. Okay. And with March up, I feel, I feel safe. They're at 29 life. We'll work through that. All they've got is Wild Growth Walker off the top. Deal. Okay, so how to approach this now? I think... Wow, triple march. Do I just plus the token and start getting in there? I think I do, rather than go wide right now. Pass with the marches up. And then end step probably just making a giant shark if they don't do anything. If they draw collected... Ah, okay. So that's fine. Yes. Let's just go 5-5 five, five Shark here. I want to end this quick. Okay. Ooh, Dig is insane. Dig is insane. Punch. Taking 8, I presume? Oh, they're going to chump. Okay. Trying to stymie, or stem the tide here. I'll save the dig, uh, because I don't know what I want yet, and when they cast something, I will know what to look for. So, easy, keep the dig. Four cards in yard, so it's four to cast, leaving me with three mana up, so I can leave up any counter magic I want, plus march. I feel like we have multiple layers of... Ooh, very good. Uh, so let's go... One, two, three, four. And... Auto tap, I guess. Okay, veto. Let's just take change the equation. I don't need to ferry here. No. No, you may not. Dig through time, baby. Digging through time to find the answer. I'll let you chump block if you want, though. No. Okay. This comes in tapped, uh, past the turn with all our action up here. They're never going to resolve anything. Actually, I guess, yeah, re return to the ranks number two would be good, because I can't change the equation that. This I can. No. I have March I could have responded to as well there, but it's, yeah, lethal. They, they do the sleepy emote. Oh, you don't like losing to control? Good. Go on tilt. That makes me even more happy. <laughs> Graftigger's Cage completely shuts them down. 
Mm, I could try the flanker here to exile graveyards. I guess I will. I guess I will. So in this matchup, it's interesting. It does block, which is very relevant. Um, Vetoes. I think I'm going to take out Make Disappears. I think Make Disappear is... Uh, all their stuff is so cheap, it, it, it's not really countering anything. It, sometimes it counters the card draw, but Graft Digger's Cage and, and stuff like that does a better job. Shark Typhoon is not great either. I'm not super stoked about that. The Explore stuff goes right around Narset. Like, they, bringing in stuff that stops them from drawing doesn't matter. Seed Shark could be good. Just putting a quick clock on them can be really good. It's kind of a non-bow with the lockdowns, but... Not really. I mean, it doesn't eat the Seed Shark, at least. It just wipes all the tokens. But if I have to do that, it's a nice, uh, you know, I, I don't care. Having a the big red button to just pop is really good here. And they're not aggressive enough for me to want Caracal here. I'd rather keep Teferi, I think, to just take over the game. They have no way to answer Planeswalkers. So if I resolve a Teferi, it should just keep the gas flowing and we can keep answering everything they do. And that's it. So this is 60. I think I'm going to run it like that. Um, sorry, catching up with the chat. A one of, yeah. So I, I never play against Dina. That is the card I misplay against the most in that deck because it's very tricky. It's got a bunch of abilities, uh, like a triggered ability and then a an activated ability, and the, the activated ability is cheap, so they can almost always activate it. And it's like it's a really weird card, but god damn it, mm, I don't think I can keep this Mulligan better. Temporary lockdown is just absolutely ridiculous against them. And you know what? I'm gonna keep farewell as well. Um, we don't need to ferry. Not this early. Tempted to lead with Fountain here, just because Fountain, um... Okay, never mind. Fountain unlocks our castles. There's not a lot of, um, basics in this deck. We're not playing Irrigated Farmland. We talked about that at the end of the last stream. Somebody asked me, why are you playing the, the pathways over the Irrigated Farmlands and stuff? And, and Glacial Fortress, you know, those kind of things go hand in hand. Uh, okay. Change the equation's great here. It lets me counter a collected company, or a wild growth walker, or an Amalia, or literally anything. That was, a, that was a fantastic draw. I was talking about putting a third change the equation in the sideboard. I, I've been so impressed with this card in, like, basically all the matches. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Temp lockdown, baby. Okay. So I let this resolve. They explore once. They already played their land drop. I mean, they're just going to get wrecked by lockdown here. I don't care if they explore again. Oh, so they could actually go for the cord right now? No. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess not, right? Three, four, five. Yeah, they... No, they... Yeah, they couldn't put it in their hand, right? Okay, so then they have cord, but this wipes everything. Uh, even their treasures, so... No making that indestructible. They can sack the savior just to get it in the graveyard, which is probably what they should do, but... Um, yeah... Temporary. Yeah, I know, right? Are you sad? Woo! That's why we're playing four of them in the 75. Yeah, it's a pretty good card. <laughs> you know that it's a card that exists in the format, right? So, what do you want me to say? Yeah, we're playing them. <laughs> People are so funny. You're not playing Magic the way I like. I don't complain about aggro. I lose to it in game one. I just say, yeah, we're like 80% to lose on the on the draw in game one against aggro. If they win the die roll, your things are bad. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Your deck looks bad, dude. Your deck doesn't look very good. Sorry. <laughs> scoop, man. Just fucking scoop. It's over. <laughs> okay. In real life, you wouldn't have to go through with this. I would just look at my opponent and be like... No. <laughs> I could activate my anchorage there and chump block. That doesn't seem correct. I'll continue to take one, I think. Mm -hmm. Could have shocked myself there, to be honest. But why take two when I can just take one? <clears throat> Field of Ruin, not really going to do much this game. It is an untapped land, though. I still think I don't need to play it. Go. You like memeing? I like memeing. I like using emotes. Getting restless. What do you say to that? Can still count to your shit. Can still count to your shit. 
No. No. It still taps for mana. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Oof. Yeesh. I'll play against the Malia all day long. No problemo. We did fade a couple. I, I screwed up in game one. I could have played it differently. I could have just marched the uh, Dina there um, in, in game one. But I, I did get lucky to not get comboed in game one, uh, that one turn, because I fucked up against Dina. But other than that, boy, one temporary lockdown, GG, like that is it. Or one Graft Digger's Cage. It's suddenly so hard for them to win. They have to naturally find a Skyclave or a Haywire Might. They can't just tutor it up. It's, it's, it's very, those sideboard cards are just so good against them. I didn't get to try the Flanker. I want to try Kutzil's Flanker there, but no such luck. In IRL, I showed hands. Exactly. Oh, oh, you, oh if you're the control player, um, sometimes. It depends who I'm playing with. If it's somebody that I know, I would never do that to a stranger. I, I don't do that. I, I'll just keep, I'll, I won't go like, look, I have all these, you know, this game's over. Um. Because they should know. Most players that I play in GPs and stuff against were good enough to realize I have five cards in my hand, and like you know, I've been like sculpting and drawing cards or whatever. Just concede, like like you can make me have it, but like what are the odds I don't have at least one counter spell, like almost zero, or a way to draw and find a counter spell or whatever, right? Um, especially if I activate the creature land there, that's when they knew, I think. But anyway, um, I'm gonna keep this. It's a little slow here. Am I leading with... I'm leading with blue, I guess. Go. It's always weird to play this land on turn one. I, I avoid it, if at all possible. So, I don't know, maybe I go a Ganjo there. Yeah, maybe it is correct to just go a Ganjo. But if I draw running lands, depending on the deck I'm playing against... Oh, good, it's the Phoenix deck. Okay, finally. Uh, yes. Tier 1 deck. That, I, that is a good matchup. Amalia is an easy matchup. This is not an easy matchup, so I, I it's going to be far more interesting. I, I could, well, easily lose this if they go off. No red yet. Sleight of hand. Okay. Veto. Vetoing a treasure cruise is great. Change the equation is not great here. It only hits Ledger Shredder. I'm never countering a one mana cantrip, right? So, um... Oh, there's the other really gaze. That's what I was saying yesterday. These decks should be playing this card, not... I don't know what else people were playing there. Well, we did play against somebody in my channel who was playing an old list. They said they clicked on the wrong list. Um, but... What, were, what was the other card people were playing? I can't remember what I... I've seen people play Galvanic Iteration and stuff. I think this is the best version. The uh, Otherworldly Gaze. Um, on, on Arena. In real life, or in Pioneer, in the real format, you can play Temporal Trespass, Galvanic Iteration. That makes sense, but that card doesn't exist on here, so you should be playing this version, right? This is the better version. I'm going to pass here. They opt. Still no phoenixes. Uh, I would be flashing that other really gaze back at some point. But they go for op number two. Okay. Bottom. Sculpting, sculpting, sculpting. That deck, oh god, they see so many cards. It's, I, it's hard for me to assume they have nothing but the best hand possible here. <laughs> so I have to beat their like best hand, basically. It's tough. Uh, I presume they play Spell Pierce, so I'm going to bait with Memory Deluge first. Because they know I'm baiting. They don't know that I am missing lands here, for example. I could cycle Shark Typhoon. Making a 2-2 is pretty good here. It does trade for a Phoenix, and it does draw me a card. Maybe that's better than casting Deluge right now. Let's go for a Shark. Uh, I'm, I use Memory Deluge's bait often because, uh, of course, it has flashbacks, so I'm not really too choked if they counter it, right? But Shark seems better. We hit the land. Make Disappear not great here, but... Okay, they have no Sharks in the yard yet. They're going to end step Otherworldly Gaze. Surveil 3. I think I'm just passing. I'm not going to attack for 2. We're not racing here. Ah. I should probably counter that. So let's kill that now. That card is excellent. 
They can't pierce back. They don't play hard counters in the main deck, so they're not going to have Mystical Dispute. They're not going to have Negate. They'll just have Spell Pierce, maybe. Some number of Spell Pierces. I don't even know. How many Spell Pierces does, do the latest lists play for Blue Red Phoenix? I'm not even sure. Yeah? Yeah, okay. They're trying to bait me into countering garbage. Like, that's obviously not doing anything, but they know this is a dead card mostly against me. It's Planeswalker. No, it's only creatures. Yeah, that's a dead card. Mm, okay. I have marches for this guy. I'm not too worried. I also have temporary lockdowns. Uh, Farewell is probably the best card in my deck in game one. If I can draw Farewell and just exile Graveyard, that's usually too much for them to come back from. Assuming it's, it's the late game usually when you cast Farewell. Yeah, this has to be countered. No. Nice. There goes their yard. They can't counter Veto. They get their Ledger Shredder trigger here. Treasure Cruise in the yard. Yep. Veto is only for Treasure Cruise in this matchup. Um, and if we can keep them off of cards, that's the only way they beat us is cruising. That's the only way they're going to compete with our card advantage, essentially. Uh, if I go for Deluge here, they're going to Spell Pierce it. I have to pass? Fuck. Yeah, I have to pass here. If they go for Otherworldly Gaze End Step... Do I deluge in response? Oh, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. This is a great card in that deck. This is a very good card at really getting you to that... Oh my god. Getting you to those phoenixes. Two phoenixes off of that. Shit. Okay. What they need here is three spells and a spell pierce, which is obviously impossible with three cards in their hand. Um, but if they... Yeah, that's that's tough. Let's see if they can cast these have to all be spells here, and they're not, yes. Uh okay, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, we're in great shape here. So we stop the treasure cruise, they have no more gas. They can't bring back the phoenixes, but the yard is primed now. Which is not good. Ooh, I'm very tempted to take two lands here. I think I will. I don't need action, I need I need to just make land drops for the next few turns here, so I can flashback Deluge, play other stuff. Okay, so now I've got Wandering Emperor up here. I'm gonna pass. We're getting to the point where we're gonna force through a Teferi. They're gonna have to dump their hand to put the Phoenixes into play. We flip in Emperor, exile one of them. Maybe they fight over that, that'll be their, their, all, their all their mana and cards. And then we get to untap Teferi. And maybe find a, a march to get the last Phoenix or this Ledger Shredder. I think we're at 19 life here. We're very safe still. Feels good. I feel like I'm in good shape here. The only thing that would really punish me is if they drew another Treasure Cruise. But that card is always just insane. I might have to actually deluge in response to find uh, a... Ooh. Uh, there's an argument for Make Disappearing here just to force them to spend the mana, but... They probably can still double spell with two mana and, and a land drop. I don't know. We'll see. They haven't made a land drop yet. Yeah, that's... I don't know. That's tough. Maybe making them waste the mana is good there. Ooh, discarding other really gays is nice. Yeah, okay. So they're going to have their uh, phoenixes here. Yeah. Ooh, good. No more... No more phoenixes. If they discarded a phoenix off that or whatever, that would have been that would have been really bad. Sleight of hand. This doesn't put cards in the yard, so only two phoenixes coming back here. And like I said, we've got wandering emperor plus make disappear to fight over uh, whatever, or just the mana to pay for spell pierce, whatever it might be. Um, so that's three spells. Phoenixes coming back. Sure. Yeah. Emperor. Exiling one of these. Now, they could Fiery Impulse their own Phoenix here to put it in the yard. They don't. Okay. Good call. I take five. I go down to 16. I'm good. I think I'm in good shape here. Um, how do I play this turn? This is going to be interesting. They can Otherworldly Gaze End Step. They don't have any Phoenixes in, in the yard anymore now. There's two still in their deck. I need to find a March. Oh, fucking Treasure Cruise. Oh, but I can... Oh, if the last card is Spell Pierce, that's so nasty. It's not. It's not Spell Pierce. Oh, they go for the Treasure Cruise and we punish them with the Make Disappear. They have to draw a Spell Pierce off this Connive Trigger. I'm pretty sure they don't have Spell Pierce because that, that happened immediately. It went right to their trigger and they drew a card, which means they had no reactions here. 
It resolves. Yes. That was awesome. Oh, that, that could have punished us. Mm, how am I going to do this? Deluge into March. Or quick study. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven mana, go five, then four. I have four up. I can't quick, I can't march. I could march the ledger shredder, I guess. Um... I'm at 16. I think Teferi might be better. One, two, three, four, five, and then we untap with four. I can deluge, but then I can't march. I could quick study into march, though. So I could Teferi draw, untap, quick study, still have a white mana up, and then... Ah, uh, but I, I, I would have to exile a white card as well. Oh my god. I, I think I'm going to go Teferi. I think actually Teferi is the, the fastest way to do this. So I could minus to fairy here as well, but I want to plus him because I feel like shit. Uh, we can still save to fairy potentially here if I do find a march. Oh boy, don't hit a phoenix, please. Uh, this is explorer dustal. Yeah, it's an explorer event. We're gonna be entering the play in qualifier. Yes, land, land, treasure cruise, huge. Why not keep Treasure Cruise on top? Huh. They can't activate Hall. I've got the 2-2 to block it anyway. Yeah, we're, we're playing some Explorer events to try and get... I just need to win one more event to get 20 play-in points, and then I can enter for free. Uh, I want to try and win the qualifier so that I can play next weekend and uh, try and qualify for this. Uh... Okay. I think I'm going to quick study now. Oh, there's the fucking march, but I have no white cards to exile. God damn it. I needed to hit the march and a white card. <laughs> Shit. Okay, Teferi down, but he gains us six life. Um, They ditch the prankster. They've got to have a treasure cruise here, right? Shit. Yeah, it's got to be. Damn it. They might claw back into this game. I've got deluges, uh, and they've got three new cards here. Uh, They've got to kill Teferi, though, but yep. So, I, I don't think they have a choice. They have to go for that anyway. So, my, my quick study, playing it early there, doesn't change anything. They're, we can't counter that, no matter what we do. So Okay. Can I find a Wrath? That would also be pretty good here. Farewell would just be lights out. Uh, assuming they don't have a Spell Pierce off the top. But, the March eats the Shredder. Yeah, Teferi gains a 7 life here. Damn. Okay. Can't do anything about this. If only I had one white card in hand, I could exile that Ledger Shredder. That would be awesome. Unless they have Spell Pierce or something, but we could have done it in response to the Treasure Cruise, right? Okay. Um... I could upkeep March. I can still March a Hall. Yeah, let's pass to them. I'm going to upkeep March the big Ledger Shredder here, I think. And see what happens. Oh. Hmm. Mill four. Okay, let's, let's exile this guy right now. Okay. So we still have March up here. I could March the Phoenix as well. That's actually very tempting. Hold on. Tap out. Just tap out right now. March the Phoenix. <sighs> and then I chump. Fiery Impulse. They can't Fiery... Oh, I guess if they have an untapped land, they can. Oh, man. This is tough. Should I march the Phoenix here? To play around Spell Pierce. I feel like I should. Oh, I've got a... Oops. Yeah, four, not three. Okay. Yeah, go nuts. Okay, so they have... How many? They have one, two exiled. 
Oh, they put another one in the yard. Lucky. That's their third one. They only have one left in the deck. Okay. Match 16. This is interesting. Very interesting game. Okay, so we know they're not... Uh, this is on upkeep. Otherworldly Gaze. They're, they have 17 cards left. They're desperately trying to hit their last Phoenix to finish me here. So they have one in the yard and then one more in the deck. And that's it. Axe, Axe, land. Okay. They go to 14, 13. Getting very close here to uh, decking. They have to keep going, though. They've got to find it. So that's the second spell they've played. Connive, not a May. So they draw another one. They're going to single-digit cards here? No, 10 cards in library. Okay, so one more spell should be easy for them to do, and then they get one Phoenix back. There's the it Charm, draw two more cards, going to eight cards now. Yeah, they've got to kill me quick. There's this, the last Phoenix, they found it, lucky. Okay, well, we can still easily win here just by wrathing. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to actually kill us, but taking nine. Yep. Taking nine. Well, we have a lot of outs. We didn't draw any of our wraths this game, so any wrath would be great here. Uh, they would need a hard counter. Like, you know, we can play around Spell Pierce, so I, I don't even know if they would be able to stop a Wrath. All they have for counter magic is this kind of stuff. Pay two. So, Farewell will just end the game on the spot, probably. They would need double... No, they can only cast one. They would need, like, Is It Charm Spell Pierce or something to stop me, right? Yeah, that's fine, too. Emperor is not the worst here. So I flash an Emperor, exile a Phoenix, gain two life. I don't have any creature lands this game. I can memory deluge into a march. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Yeah, so I can deluge into, but then I can't, no, I can't exile. Okay, so if I take deluge, march plus a white card, I can march the Ledger Shredder, Emperor the Phoenix, gain two. Spell Pierce is the only thing that stops us here, right? Is that should I just wait till their turn? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. They're probably gonna activate Hall of Storm Giants and swing, right? Hmm. Six, seven. Yeah. I, oh, this is crazy. I think I have to do this now. I think I have to do this now. Okay. I know they don't have a counter spell. Let's just eat one of these. And then Deluge, I'm going to go for it here. I know they don't have a counter. They draw another card. They go to seven. Crazy game. Very close game. Have to take March plus... Nope. Son of a bitch. No March. I have three more in the deck. Two more? Two more in the deck. Uh... Okay, that's only 8 damage, but all they have to do is connive here. God, I needed to just find a march. I think that was the only way we win. Uh, I could have not played the Memory Deluge on my turn in order to not connive the Shredder. Maybe that's better, and then I don't die to another connive trigger here. Oh. Man, I, yeah, I should have thought about that. I forgot, I only have 2 marches left in the deck. It's not a super high chance to hit, right? 6%. 2 shots at 6%. Ugh, yeah, greedy. I think I should have waited. I, f I kind of forgot about the connive trigger. I figured the, mi the the drawing actually hurts them, but that one point of damage is actually going to do it. They're in the tank here. Maybe they don't have it. That would be crazy. They don't have any more in the yard. I mean, it, this is their only phoenix in the deck, so they can't suddenly get a phoenix out of nowhere. They have to double spell to connive here. They draw. Oh, I thought they had already drawn here. Okay, so surely they can play two spells. Yeah. We're dead. God damn it. Took them a while. I don't know what took so long there, but one more spell should do it. Now they have to discard a spell. They discard a land? What are they doing? What? Why? They could have just... Oh. But they can't activate. What are they doing? Oh my god, they can't kill me? Are you crazy? Oh my god. No way. 
so they're gonna try and kill me with Hall of Storm Giants? They could have just killed me right there. I guess they fear the march, right? If I had march? Oh, I thought it was just dead. Um, so I have verdict. If I draw an answer, yep, that's an answer. Okay, so let me think here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I need five mana to kill Hall of Storm Giants, because it's got Ward 3. And then four mana to play Verdict, so I can play my tap land. And they have to double spell. They only have three cards. This is so close! So close, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't have to shock myself. I have exactly enough mana here to get lost the, the Hall of Storm Giants. I want them to go for it, though. I don't want them to try and get this Phoenix back. Otherworldly Gaze may be good. They surveil, so they can just leave one of them on top. Ooh, I think I would have Otherworldly Gazed there. They have two cards in Library here. What a game. I, to I said right at the beginning of this game, this match, this is a close match. <laughs> it's a very grindy, very close match. And here we are. Two life. They have two cards in their deck. They have a Hall of Storm Giants. I have exactly enough mana to get Lost plus Ward. I want them to go for it. Because the Phoenix is in the yard now. If they double spell, they need to triple spell here though, right? Yeah, there's no way. They have to go for Hall. And if I kill Hall, I don't think they can win? I don't know. Yeah, they go for it. Okay, wait for them to attack. If they have a Spell Pierce or an Is It Charm, I lose, but I don't have a choice. Oh, God. Please resolve! Yes! Yes! Oh, my God. I don't care about that. Oh, dig through time. GG! GG! <laughs> oh, oh, what a game. That was crazy, crazy game. Whoo! Now with Dig Through Time, I feel invincible. Uh, Memory Deluge also good here, but three, four, five, six, seven. If I tap out for Deluge, is there a way we get burned out? They could have double spike field hazard, right? That's, that's a thing that could, that could happen. Double spike field. That would be that would be so insane. I've got to go count how many spike fields now. Okay, do they have they don't have any in play? Oh god. Oh god, no. I don't see any. Oh god, please don't have double spike field hazard with your last three cards. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, I don't think they can beat me with two cards in hand, one in library here. I'm still digging, baby. I'm still digging. Okay. Dig. They double spike field in response. No! That would be the most epic, epic finish. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I'm even going to take Anchorage here because this allows me to play Anchorage. It's going to come into play as a tapped land. And then I can flash in. I can actually activate Emperor... Uh... I'm going to go to my turn. I'm not even going to scry two here. Yeah, nice. Pass to them. So I can activate Anchorage, and it's, it turns into a creature, tapped. Then I flip in Emperor, exile Anchorage, gain two life. So I can actually go up to four life instant speed here. That's all I wanted to see. Jeez. Are they going to... Yeah. Oof. Yeah. They're just fucking around now. They have nothing. Scoop, man. They're just wasting my time. Yeah. GG. Wow, what a game. Oh. Oh, nice. Wow, that's actually pretty sweet. No, I have this though. What a game. Wow, they even made a made a last dish attempt. Yeah, they had the one Phoenix in the yard. They were trying to get up to three spells there with zero cards in hand. That was great. Flashback the prankster plus the flashback to uh, uh, other really gays, they make three. Very nice. Close games. Okay, Kutzil's Flanker seems good here. Mm, Dream Trawler's insane, because they can't... Well, no, it gets Mystical Disputed, though. I was going to say, once it's in play, that's it. But Nars, it's probably better. Graft Digger's Cage. Um, temporary Lockdown's not great here. I feel like it only hits the... Um... Hey, George. That was a good final try by Tagger. Did you see that? Wow. They, they had zero cards in Library, and I was at... Two life, but yeah. 
like I said, even if they shot me in the face with something, I, I did have a way to even activate my own creature land, exile it to gain that two life. So I think we were pretty insulated there from literally anything. But they had to go for it, and they did. They had exactly the number of cards they needed. They had to pray that I didn't find it. But dig through time, when I get to look at seven cards, you know I'm going to find something relevant there. Like, I had three cards in hand, and you know at least two of them are the best cards in the top, like, ten cards of my deck or whatever, right? Um, okay, what am I doing here? So, temporary lockdown comes out. Is that correct? Against, it's only Ledger Shredder. Pick lock, like, I don't care about the, those cards, right? I'm leaving in the verdicts. I still have farewell, so I have a way to clean up boards if they if it comes to that. I think I'm going to cut to fairy. I guess shark typhoon's okay. Make disappear actually is not great. I want to cut make disappears and bring in. I could try hullbreaker. They can't beat this card, right? Wait, the problem with the, the red removal is it only goes up to five. They can only do five damage. They have to, like, combine multiple removal spells, and they just, they side out play with fire. Or uh, whatever it's called. Fiery, fiery impulse. So, I think Hullbreaker is actually a better finisher here than, I could even just ditch to fairy altogether and just, like, I'll play Seed Sharks instead. Seed Shark also gets Mystical Disputed, which is another, like, I don't know if I should bring that in, but... I took Rip out of the sideboard. Yeah, I'm trying Kutzil's Flanker in that spot. So I, I sided it in here. Let's see if it's good. It's instant speed graveyard removal that does not get Mystical Disputed. So this is nice. Turn 1 Cage. I don't know if they're going to be able to beat a turn 1 Cage. Can they, they would have to have Spell Pierce on turn 1 with an untapped blue source here. I, I have to keep this, I think. Okay. Do I think they have Spell Pierce? No, I don't. Maybe I'm wrong. I bet you they just have opt or consider here. Mm-hmm. Cage, baby. Get caged. Okay, so how does blue-red get Grafdigger's cage off the battlefield? Did they bring in, like, a braid or something? They must have, like, an abrade in the sideboard, right? Uh, is it charm doesn't hit artifacts or anything? Okay... Okay, and now we play the waiting game. The first stage of this game is us both drawing. They're, they're just drawing a shit ton of cards. I'm just trying to make land drops. Both of us just making land drops and not interacting with each other until they eventually put phoenixes in the yard and they just go for it. They have one of those go for it turns. And when they do that, I want to have flanker ready to go here. So I'm trying to find a flanker if I can. We've got change the equation for their two drop. If they have a spell pierce, they could play untapped land, two drop, spell pierce, my counter. But if they had Spell Pierce, they would have countered that cage for sure. Uh, another Otherworldly Gaze. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> Playing slots. Nice. Uh, Brazen Borrower. Thank you, Otaku. Yes, I knew there was one sideboard card that interacted. I guess it's Brazen Borrower. That's not even great. So they have to set up a turn where, yeah, they end step Borrower. It resolves bounces my cage they untap they do the phoenix thing put all the phoenixes into play like that has to that's that's tricky still that's not a great answer to cage um it gives them a brief window and they have to hope that window is good enough <laughs> i think i'm still fine with that that was a tough surveil for them i don't know they didn't surveil anything huh very interesting Never playing Seed Shark here in a million years. Probably going to get to turn fi five or six before I start playing things. Assuming I continue to make land drops to six. Um, they're going to side in Mystical. That's the best card against us. That's the card I want to play around if at all possible. Mystical Dispute. Uh, I don't give a shit about the... Uh... Yeah, let's let them Is it charm this if they want. Uh, or Spell Pierce or what have you. My mystical, sure. If this eats a Mystical, I'm fine with it. I just don't want to lose Shark or, like, a Teferi. You know, a five-mana spell getting countered is rough. If they Mystical a counter spell, that's fine. Okay, they let that happen. Good. Um, I can't Arden Veil yet, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to still play this. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! <laughs> I should have paid two life for Hallowed Fountain there and just... I want to have Emperor up and Deluge. Oh my god, I did not realize. I, I, I did that before too. I've got to be careful with that. Stupid Ardenvale. 
Yeah, it's different when you're playing the irrigated farmlands and all that stuff. In our deck, it's just Hallowed Fountain that counts here. Oh, could have had Emperor up here. Jesus Christ. Just brutal. Am I going to main phase Emperor into a Spell Pierce here? Yeah, I am. Pierce it. <clears throat> they can't mystical it. They could kill their own guy here if they wanted. They do not. Let's play this tapped. So Phoenix can't come out of the yard. They know that. So uh, they hard cast it there. I get to exile it. It's nice. It, it forces them to expose their Phoenixes like that. They have to tap four mana. They couldn't leave a visit charm or anything else to, to mess with me. And we just get to eat that Phoenix. No pressure on Emperor here is nice. They take out a lot of their removal, so they could have Fry, they could have uh, things that kill Planeswalkers, I can't do anything about, but that's why I side out Teferi. They side in Fry, I, I cut the Teferis. They could Fry my Seed Shark, but we'll get value off Seedy Boy here, I think. Am I going to play Seed Shark now is the question? I don't think I will. I should play Field of Ruin, they can activate Hall of Storm Giants next turn. And I'm going to leave Emperor on 2 here. Uh, no need to make a 2-2 to block anything yet. Um, because we have Field of Ruin now to protect us from Hall. That is a good one. That's a good one. I could try and draw a Dovin's Veto or something to mess with this. But you know what? I don't really give a shit because they need to actually... Yeah, like they get... Oh, Treasure Cruise. Okay. I'd much rather counter a Treasure Cruise here. Hmm. Yep, they go for it immediately, of course. I'm going to Deluge in response. I'm going to see if I can find a veto here. They might, uh, if they have an uh, Is It Charm already in their hand, they pr probably should just counter my Deluge to force me to pay the mana. Then I won't be able to counter their Treasure Cruise, but let's see if they do it. <clears throat> Assuming they have a counter, they should, even if it's just pay two mana, they should do it. Because if I pay two mana, I can't counter your cruise. Oh, reversal. Okay, well, that doesn't do anything. Sure, you resolve treasure cruise. But they don't get to draw cards off Deluge by reversing it there. So that's pretty good for us. It's just a, a two mana counter spell. So they draw three. Not bad. We're going to be drawing a bunch pretty soon. This time I'm going to have a seed shark in play to make a 4 4 token as well. And uh, start pressuring them, maybe. Okay, resolving crews, pretty good. That's what they needed. Uh, but Cage still being a problem for them. They've got the Phoenix in the yard. They're sub-12 minutes to my 18 as well. They've got to hurry up. If they win game two, they might not have enough time to win a game three here. Uh, yep. <clears throat> mm-hmm. No. That's not how that works. Um... Pass. Deluge making a 4-4 token here is pretty good, but <clears throat> they mill four again. Sure. That's another treasure cruise. Ooh, there's Brazen Borrower. Crackling Drake. Yeah, Drake is their sideboard plan here. Brazen Borrower bounce the cage. Yeah, they could go for that. Can't do it now, though. They take it. Oh, I should have deluged in response there as well. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that's dumb. They could activate Hall of Storm Giants. That seems crazy to me, though. I have Field of Ruin up here. So this is a very interesting spot. They know we have Deluge. I know they have Brazen Borrower to bounce our cage. They go for Crackling Drake. Sure. It's a big boy. Okay. Deluge. Presume this gets countered, but you never know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, and Narset is pretty good here. I need to kill that Drake somehow. I guess I could minus Emperor just chump with the shark. 
Could make a Shark Typhoon token as well. If I just hard cast Shark Typhoon, that's also very good. Three, six, seven, eight. I think it's Narset though. Narset Narset just shuts down so much of their deck. Okay, I'm actually paying the two here. And make a two two with Wandering Emperor, perhaps? I don't know. I'm gonna lead with Narset. If this resolves, they're in deep shit. So, do they fight over this? They do not. They're going to go for a big um, a big Brazen Borrower into Phoenix turn here. I don't think I'm going to minus the Narset. I think I'm just going to plus the Shark so it trades with the Drake. This also gets it out of Lightning Axe range, which I don't even think is in their deck anymore, but you never know. So if I minus Narset here, it does die to, you know, some kind of damage spell. Oh, God, should I minus Narset? It dies to... But, but what, what spell are they playing? I, I think I'm still minusing Narset here. Oh, boy. Uh, but I've got Kutzil's Flanker to exile their yard already. Yeah, I'm going to take Farewell anyway. Okay. And then pass. So let's see what happens here. This is going to be a crazy turn. I'm expecting them to Brazen Borrower, Graft Digger's Cage on my end step. I'm going to respond with Kutzel's Flanker, Exile Your Graveyard. No, they don't go for it. So they're going to do it all on their turn. Okay. Bounce my Shark? Uh... Okay. Huh. Interesting. Um, I've got March, so I can exile a white card. Like, I could exile Farewell here, but I should just exile Flanker and then try and resolve the Farewell against them. Are they going to attack me? No, they've got to attack Narset here. They're attacking me. Really? So if I march and I don't exile something, then I can't pay for I can't pay for the counter here. Hmm. I'll take eleven. They're gonna I want I want them to pull the trigger first here. Spend mana. There you go. Uh, okay. Remember, exiling the graveyard doesn't do anything. The drake is still going to be huge. Okay, they have a brazen borrower. Okay, anything else? They know I have farewell. Maybe I just ditch farewell? Okay, so we pay three here. That leaves two mana up to pay for the Is It Charm. They need double counter spells here. They only have one, three mana, so that I don't know what they could have. They could have hard cast Mystical Dispute, and that does 13 to me, but then I get to untap and farewell, and they can't beat that, right? T-Stroke. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I take 13. Ow! <laughs> okay. You got me. Now, I could minus Emperor on the Crackling Drake just to gain the life here. Okay, I'm not going to minus Narset. I don't want her to die to a Spike Field Hazard. I'm going to leave her on three. So this has just got to be Farewell, right? And they have one mana. There's no way. There's no way they can counter this. And I have Field of Ruin up. So let's go Creatures, Graveyards. We lose our Deluge. I don't care, though. Okay. Make a dude to block. And I'm not minusing Narset. Go ahead. They're going to beat me down with Brazen Borrowers and Picklock Pranksters, or they're going to try anyway. I'll need to find another Wrath at some point, but with these tokens, I might be able to race that crap. Field keeps their hall in check. Narset shuts all their card draw off. So if they draw, well, Treasure Cruise, even if they hard cast it here, does nothing. All their cantrips do nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, they can Brazen Borrower my Narset to draw some cards, but 
to try and draw cards before I replay it, I mean, but but even that's like that's not great resetting our Narset, right? This is a tough spot for our opponent. They also have eight and a half minutes left. This is game two. Tough spot. Um Farewell, Grafdigger's Cage. This is a lot of hate uh that they have had to plow through this game, so I don't think I mean it's just that's probably too much. But I don't know. That deck is like a magician on a stage with a rabbit in a hat. They just keep seeing... Like you saw last game, zero cards in deck. Still had lethal. Coming in for lethal on the final turn. I had to have an emperor there. It was crazy. That deck can just literally still... It's like a cockroach. It's very hard to, to put them away for good. As long as they have cards in hand and in their deck, they could just top deck even with no cards in hand. They could go like, consider, into treasure cruise, into suddenly like, ugh, and then all these... Yeah, it's just like it snowballs so quickly. Okay... I think they realize they have to go for this. They have to try and kill me with the little dorks here. 22 cards in library. Should I pop the Field of Ruin right now? Uh, just to get that out of the way? I think I want to start putting a clock on my opponent here. If they want to Brazen Borrower this, I'm fine with that, right? Oh, the march is pretty nice. Okay, let's plus Emperor here. I don't want Emperor to die to a bunch of 1-3 flyers. I also would like to do damage to my opponent. So let's punch. Yeah, not shrinking Narset here so that Narset stays alive. Because if Narset lives, we're in great shape. Uh, I'm going to jam Seed Shark and pass here. Oh, I guess I shouldn't auto-pass. Okay, in case they have a counter or something. Brazen Borrower, I presume... They flash it in. Okay, still have March up. I could March this Borrower right now. One, two, three, four. Shit. Hold on. I'm gonna field first. I should have done that already. One, two, yeah. I should have did that on their end step like I wanted to, but I got in an extra four damage. I guess that's okay. Okay. That gets us another token. Get that borrower out of here. Now they can't pressure Narset. Because um, they could, you know, if they had that three, three power creature, they could bounce my Seed Shark with their second borrower, hit for three, and then that suddenly frees up. Yeah. That suddenly frees up all their... Oh, a hardcast phoenix. Oh my god, they actually killed me. Okay. Right. Unlucky. Darn. Even after I exiled all that stuff? I don't know, maybe that wasn't the right line, but... Nice, nice. Um, I could bring in my own mystical disputes here. They're, they're pretty good. I probably should, right? Oops. Not Narcissus Reversal, but... I kind of forgot to bring those in in uh, game one. Or game two, I mean. Shark Typhoon is... Uh, not amazing. I'm going to ditch Hullbreaker. If they're going to play things like Brazen Borrower, that's pretty bad against it, right? Um, wow, I did not think we were actually going to lose that game. I think I got a little uh, unlucky to lose, but also they did what their deck's trying to do. I don't know how unlucky that is. They just had what they needed. That's not luck. That's just how that deck is built. So, yeah. Those vetoes. I like all the spot removal. Hmm... Okay, I'll cut one Shark Typhoon. Dream Trawler gets some uh, Mystical Disputed. It's bad. That's the same with Teferi. Five and six mana blue cards that are sorcery speed? No. I, I, that said, I don't know. I, I assume they bring in Mystical Dispute, but I haven't seen one yet. So maybe they... If I, if I knew that my Blue Red Phoenix opponent was not bringing in Mystical Dispute, then I could see it. But that's not... Um, I, I don't... I can't... Why? Really? They don't have... Myst that's like got to be one of their best sideboard cards against me, right? So I, I feel like, yeah, I take out the five and six mana things, but yeah. Um, or they kill me in the air, yeah, right, if, if I let the Brazen Borrower live. Um, but yeah, I think you need the Flyer. Uh, yeah, they could hard cast. Oh, if they had two Phoenix, sure, but that, what are the odds of that? I mean, they ended up having one, but uh, I'm actually going to lead with this. Because they we had already seen, what, two or... Three or two? Two were gone already, so they, they could have had one... Uh, they, they only had two left in their deck. They could have had one of their last two, or having both? That's very unlikely. 
So I'm not playing around two Phoenixes there. Anyway, we'll see if they can beat us in six minutes here. Opt. That deck does have a lot of uh, clicking to do. A lot of scrying and surveilling and all that stuff. Okay, good good match. This is a close match. Like it's either either player could could take it, right? Mm, am I gonna get this down now? I think I will. Okay, fairy. Ooh, that's fine too. I was gonna say if they have the picklock prankster, I might veto it to be honest. If they had a picklock there. Yeah, they needed one of their last two Phoenixes to kill me, I guess, and uh, they had one, so pretty good. But that deck is drawing a lot of cards, looking at a lot of cards. I think I, I, I fell really far behind earlier in the game when they Treasure Cruised and it resolved. I couldn't counter it, and that Treasure Cruise drew them a, a bunch of stuff. I was just like, oh god. I don't know, maybe I, I did keep in two Shark Typhoons. I had three last game. Maybe uh, I keep them all in. I keep in the full three because just having a flying chump blocker is relevant in these late games where it's really close, you know? Okay, they continue to sculpt their hand. Sure. No graveyard hate this time. Um, but yeah, Dream Trawler's too weak to Mystical Dispute. I, I don't want cards like that. But Teferi's the same. I think Teferi I side out. Like, it's just a blue sorcery speed five or six mana card is just never going to resolve, right? It shouldn't, but I don't know. I didn't see... I should have looked closer at their graveyard in game two there. I didn't see a single... Um, I, did, I didn't see a single um, uh, mystical, but I wasn't really looking for them. Anyway, let's see. Gazing. Yep. No more coffee. Um, you guys losing at slots? Uh, Gamba. Oh, roulette. Oh my god. Okay, stop. Must stop. Wait, one more. Slots, right? Am I gonna make a 1-1 one -one here? They're gonna play a bunch of instant speed stuff? Nah. Mm. Do I want another white source here? Probably, right? Kutzil's Flanker is an interesting draw there. Pass to them. They have how many Phoenixes? Zero so far. Flashing in the Borrower. Uh, sure. Mm hmm. At 20 life here, so this Borrower doesn't really matter. Okay, they're going to four minutes left on the clock here. Mm hmm. I think I can take three. Sure. Emperor. Let's see if this resolves. Stroke it. Mm, no. That's why we waited till six mana. Let's see if they have an Is It Charm here for the Wandering Emperor now. Or another D Stroke, maybe. D Stroke's a weird one. Like, that is way worse than Mystical Dispute, right? I don't know. Maybe they said. Do they have D Strokes now in the sideboard instead of Mysticals because it overlaps with some other matchup or something? Uh, okay. Bounce there. <laughs> sure. Okay. Narcissus Reversal is another one that I don't think is very good against blue-white control, but... Okay, so we trade a bunch of cards. Hmm. I could Verdict. Just do that. Okay. Got the flanker. They've got the Drake. Sure. So I could march the Drake here. Could have done it with a trigger on the stack, it's probably better. Mm, or I could just verdict it. Mm, I could flip it in game two, scry two. I could just the Ganju it now, yeah. Okay, pass to you. Yep. Three minutes on the clock. 
Ooh, they like that one. It's a land, okay. No blocks. Can't counter that. Okay, anything else? Pass to you. All right. <clears throat> They're going to have some end step stuff. They've got D-Stroke back in their hand, but that can't counter a Supreme Verdict. It can counter a March for X is three or higher, which is something. They are going to draw and discard. Maybe find some Phoenixes here. I have the Kutzel's Flanker instant speed. They Oh, there's one Phoenix. They can't, uh, they can't D-Stroke this. They can't Mystical this. They can't, you know, Charm or whatever. Is it Charm? Okay, let's start making dudes. Ooh, Deluge. Actually, I'm not attacking. Let's just pass. Brazen Borrower? My token? <laughs> oh, just flash it in. Uh, they have a D-stroke. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I can take three. I'm gonna go for Deluge on end step here, since they didn't go for the uh, Phoenix nonsense. They're getting us low enough that they're gonna try and do a big Phoenix turn, where they, they bring in like two or three Phoenixes and finish me off. They're at sub two minutes now, though. They gotta go fast. Hmm. Um, presume they're gonna D-stroke this. Let me think. Okay. So there's an argument for flanking early just to stop something like this, but they could always hard cast or try to hard cast this. Yes, that's okay. Hmm. So I could I could still go for flanker at some point, but I, I think I'm gonna wait till they try and Phoenix here. Minute 40. Shark's a nice one. <clears throat> could also Supreme Verdict there. But, and leave up March. Pass. Let's go. Okay, so Sea Shark blocks. I've got removal for Brazen Bar if I want. Uh, sure. Okay. Hmm. Should I kill this in response? Hmm. Supreme Verdict's looking a little awkward here. I do want to play the Verdict to kill the, the Crackling Drake, but let's see. Um, my turn? Jeez. Uh, end Step Borrower, Bounce My Shark. Again, they're going to try and kill me in one turn here, so maybe I should just Verdict, and then I can crack the token to block Hall. Hmm. I'm at 14. Boy, this is tough. God, if they rip a treasure cruise, I'm in trouble, right? If one phoenix in the yard... Exile Supreme Verdict, play this for three, four mana up. I could exile two Supreme Verdicts to March, and then still have Flanker plus. Yeah, let's pass. I think we're going to be okay. Let's see what happens here. I want them to tap mana. They don't. Okay. One minute left for them. Okay. Uh... Should I exile just one? I think I can exile just one here. And they can destroke this or whatever. I don't really care. Mm hmm. Sure. 
Could activate Anchorage double block. Uh, they still trade for both my dudes is the problem. So I think I can chump with this guy. Sure. Hmm. Well, now I can Supreme Verdict and then still have tokens to crack here. They can't counter the Verdict. Yeah. A little bit worried about that, but they have 30 seconds on their clock. I, I don't think this is enough. Um, should I flanker exile graveyards here? Let's go to our turn. Okay, pass. And now I can flank exile yard. Ooh, I could do this in response. Or I could wait till their turn. Oh boy, like I could do this. Oh yeah. I should stop on end step here, actually. Okay. Yes, they're going lower and lower. Okay. Yes. Quitzel's flanker. They need, there, there's not many counters in their deck that are going to counter this. Yes, Exile Graveyard. Boop. <laughs> yes, bye. Okay. So now let's see if they can kill me. I've got a blocker for the Hall of Storm Giants. They've got a hard cast Phoenix. Crackling Drake does not have haste. They have two seconds left. Good game. Okay, got him. To time. Close games. Wow. I don't even know who would have won that game. I mean, they do this stuff. Any Wrath now is, is live for me, but I can uh, play Shark Typhoon to chump block the, the Drake. And then, yeah, I need to. I have a Deluge maybe to find answers. I get to cycle the Shark Typhoon, find a draw there. I mean, Wandering Emperor, a bunch of stuff is live, but close match, close match. Flanker, well, yeah, sure. Had I, If I had Rest in Peace a lot earlier, that would have also done the trick. I could have just left Rest in Peace in place and uh, in play, and Rest in Peace would have been better because it doesn't let them treasure cruise. Yikes. Yeah, I, I think Rest in Peace, because of that, in that matchup, Rest in Peace is way better than Flanker, I think. The only drawback to Rest in Peace is that if you don't have the mana to pay for uh, Is It Charm, then they can Is It Charm you. But because it it just makes everything exile immediately, it means they can there there's never a window where they can bounce my Graft Digger's Cage and do the thing. With Rest in Peace, it's just that they have no graveyard, so Treasure Cruise is just completely dead, even if they bounce it and all this stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of decisions, Tank. That's why they they fell behind. A lot of decisions in that deck. But okay, take it easy, MTG. Thanks, buddy. Uh, we were going to play too, sorry MTG, but I need these points. I need to do this stupid uh, thing, and we're playing code names in an hour and a half. Okay, I'm going to keep. Um, the best argument for using MTGO is what? Animations cost a lot of cycle time, waiting for them to respond. Oh yeah, good good point. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Animations take time. It's kind of silly too. There's some um, animations where if it's ticking down, it wastes your clock. Like the, the Amalia combo, for example. Hold on, let me think here. Uh, yes. Is it the mirror? It's the mirror match. Okay. Um, sure. Jeez. Okay. Land drops are clutch. Temporary lockdown totally dead in this mirror match. So already two cards behind, which is not good. Mm -hmm. Could have played Castle Tap there, I guess. Not playing anything on three. We'll see. Um, this match is also going to be about time, so yeah, the 1-1 one -one shark is irrelevant. And uh, I don't see any companions, it's not a Yorian version or Kihira or something, so just the, the 60 card version like me. I wonder if they have the same kind of list. Okay, now Castle comes in untapped. Pass. Yeah, time is really going to be a factor in this match. So let's not dally. Unity sets all the animations delays, I see. Yeah, like Amalia combo when it's going trigger, trigger, trigger. Even if you hit resolve all, the animations and different things that are happening make it, um... Oh, weird. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, you can have your your two two. So temporary lockdown wipes all the tokens, uh, including these maps. I don't know if they're going to be uh, using them right away. They might. They might. No, they do not. Okay. I think they were trying to find a, a window to resolve Teferi or something there, but they can't play Teferi into my counter. Ooh, and they don't have a land drop. That is very nice. Uh, let's do this. Play around, make disappear. They could Dovin's Veto this if they want. That would be incredible. To trade a temporary lockdown for a veto in this mirror is amazing, but yeah, they're not going to do that. Just wipe all their value here, pass the turn. Land drops are what's important here. They could go for another Emperor. Ah, Deluge. Can't answer that. Okay. I wouldn't counter that anyway here. I've got to counter it to Fairy or something, right? Or at least make them think I can. So, pretty insane if they went for it, but they do not. Yeah. Okay. Pass to them. Now I think I am going to cycle Shark Typhoon. And, uh... See what happens. They can... Deluge number two. Pretty lucky. I haven't found a single one yet. Could obviously draw and try and counter this, but again, countering this doesn't matter. I've got a counter to Fairy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go for Emperor here. This is going to get vetoed, probably. Could have led with Shark Typhoon because I do need a land here, but I'm tempted to get a veto out of their hand if I can. Oh, wow. Okay. They must have a get lost or something like me. What do you got? When I see the basics from some random set, like Core Set or, yeah, Lord of the Rings or whatever. Uh, ooh, they play it into my... Uh, okay, that's fine. This is on their end step, though, which is much worse for them, right? Yeah. Because mine's a 3-3 coming in. So they must have a march or something here for my 3-3. Which, again, is fine, because... Um, boy, if yeah, if I had a counter, they'd be in trouble, right? Okay, let's see if they have the march. Lucky I don't have a counter to, to counter this, or else they just have to chump. Yeah, are they realizing how the Wandering Emperor lines up with itself here? Yeah, I like if, if you... You always play it on your opponent's end step because, yeah, if they respond or if they have one on their turn, it doesn't line up well for them, right? Yeah, they basically have to chump here. Okay, they don't have a march, I think. Field of Ruin's great here. Um... Hmm... Could have swung with the Anchorage as well, but that I, I just assumed they had a march here. Uh, and I couldn't protect my land. That would have been devastating. I think I'm going to Field of Ruin their Field of Ruin so they can't kill my castle here. Let's do this now before they untap with it. And that way our castle is safe. Castle will take over the game in this uh, in this matchup. And we can activate it this turn. Let's pass to them. All I have to do is fade it to Fairy, or at least make them think that I can you know, counter a Teferi here. If they have a Dovin's Veto and they go Teferi with two mana up, then the jig is up. But maybe we Shark Typhoon and try and kill Teferi with uh, the tokens that we have in play? I'm not sure. We'll see where we go from here. They cycle. Okay, they're playing Irrigated Farmland. A very uh, To me, this is an old list. I don't think you play Farmland anymore. We talked about this yesterday on the channel. Coming into play tapped, lands... Oh, and lay down... Oh yeah, because they're playing the Farmland, sure. Lay down arms, eh? Okay, sure. I mean, I get to make a 1-1 one, one from the castle here, and then pump it with the, uh... with the Wandering Emperor, and then it still can't really be messed with, right? Yeah. Go nuts. Wait, is this mid-combat? Oh, I thought we were on their end step. Oh, what the fuck? Oops. Misclick. I thought we were on their end step here. I just let them resolve to fairy. Oh, they, they go for memory deluge in response. Okay, that's totally fine. They've cast three memory deluges already. Jesus Christ. Can I find one, please? 
Just one. Nope. Let's go for this. Not going to activate my creature land here, of course. Pretty sure they have a march now, right? After digging again. Or not. Okay. I'll keep, I'll keep killing your dorks. They can't do it again this turn. I think I'm going to pass the turn with Shark Typhoon in hand. Scry, cat, like two castles up. Feels pretty good here. Uh, they just did a lot of drawing, so I don't know what they drew, but it's got to be good, right? Uh, do I give a shit? Okay, I think that's fine. Sure. Mm-hmm. So how big of a shark do I make here? I also like cycling Shark Typhoon to fuel the dig. Um, A plus Emperor. I could just go Castle Ardenvale here. Because mm. again, putting all my eggs in one basket, like if I, if I make a big shark and they have a, a march here, it's pretty bad for us, right? I think I'm, I'm going to just go Castle Ardenvale. Wow. Maybe they don't play March because they have Lay Down Arms, which is just a way worse removal spell, right? They can't instant speed answer a threat here? Then maybe Shark Typhoon token is good. So I don't have enough mana to do both. I can I can scry two here and then make a 1-1 one, one Shark, but if I, if I want to make a 2-2 two, two Shark, I've got to tap more mana here. So why don't I go, what, 4-4? Four, 4-5-6. Four? Four, Leaves up two mana? I'm going to go for a 4-4 four, four here. I want my opponent to think I have a counter spell. And the number, of, the size of the shark does not matter. Four, five, two, three. It just needs to kill Emperor. So two or more is all I really need here. Okay, let's see if we can kill Emperor. So far, they've had no instant speed removal, except Emperor. Do they have a march in their hand? Yes or no? That's why we're not cracking maps or anything. I'm pretty sure they have it here. If they don't, I don't care about the maps. I'm just happy to kill Emperor. They have a shark. 4-4. Four, four. Well, I play good removal, unlike you. So I get to do this. Boop. And then Emperor dies. Uh, you can have a card, though, if you like. Okay, I've got Dig Through Time here. I think I am going to go for map, though. I want to find some, uh, some more action here. Ooh, there's a Deluge finally. I'll leave that on top. Okay, I have to be careful not to activate Field of Ruin here. Dig through time, five in the yard, so I get to dig end step, but I already have a Deluge on top. Okay, let's just pass the turn. I, I think I'm just going to make a 1-1 one, one with Ardenvale here. I presume they're going to Supreme Verdict. This is going to be one of their answers, or a temporary lockdown to, to wipe tokens. Um... And then end step, maybe I Arden Veil into Memory Deluge next turn, plus Dig. They cast Triple Deluge already. They should be dominating me this game, but they're playing, yeah, they, they, I don't know if they kept stuff like that. They took Lay Down Arms. They Memory Deluge number four? Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm not going to dig for a, a Veto or whatever. They already have five cards in their hand. They're all good. Let them do it again. We'll start countering them when they come back out of the graveyard. Jeez. Okay, now what? I finally find my first. They've cast four. <laughs> There's lay down arms. Are they taking like these cards from off dig? Are they taking lay down arms? That I feel like that's at least one of those times my opponent took lay down arms, right? Which is crazy to me. Crazy. But okay. Make a 1-1. One, one. Uh, let's shock ourselves here. Explore first. Get our land off the top. Let our dig be, or our deluge be even better. Easy. Shouldn't have played the land from my hand, but what are you going to do? Uh, swing. Pass. Okay, time a factor, remember. They were two minutes behind us, which is good. We're two minutes ahead. It's a fairy, yeah. Oh, you said, okay, and the bot says hi back. Yeah, lay down arms might mean no march, I guess. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. You can't afford to have both. You just, that's the slot that I'm playing march in. They're, they're playing lay down arms, and it's because they play irrigated farmland. 
a come into play tap land that you don't need anymore. Just cut your glacial fortresses, cut your farmlands, play untapped lands, and play March. March is fucking awesome. Four marches is uh, just like always, like it just feels correct to me. But the fielding their field was pretty huge too. Let's see if they let this deluge resolve. Uh, they don't know I have dig. They could veto this. I think if they veto this, I'm not even going to go for the dig here. I'm just going to make another token and attack them. Or I could just scry two, I suppose. I don't think I want to go for dig through time. Um, I could leave up two mana, but... Mm, I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't know what I want yet is kind of the weird thing with dig. Deluge, I just, I want to get anything in my hand here, but I'm saving Dig to find something specific. If they do manage to slip through, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fairy, God forbid it's a fairy slips through, but or a wandering emperor or whatever. They're wasting a lot of their clock here on this one. Come on. Yeah, playing Absorb. Uh, that's okay, I think. You can Absorb. So that gains them three life, so I'm going to Scry two here. Instead of making a 1-1, one, one, the life becoming less and less relevant. Farewell not relevant either. Shark Typhoon's amazing, though. Oh, I could have farewelled and named Graveyards or something. I guess that's pretty good, but I also have a Deluge in the Graveyard. Um, so, I, playing this as an enchantment just means they have... Uh, they, they can get lost it, right? This version is probably playing more get lost, actually, because they're not playing March, right? Okay, let's punch them in the face. Maybe they go for Wandering Emperor to block or something? No, that would be silly. Okay, let's pass. Lots of mana up. They have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 1, 2, 5, 7, 9, 11. So we're ahead of them on mana here. So I can do something like... Flashback Memory Deluge in response to their Deluge. They Okay, they go to 10. So now they can Deluge with 3 mana up. And... I have 11 mana, so I can Deluge... Plus dig, plus... Yeah. Let's go for this. So I could dig in response and counter this? No, I have five in the yard. Nope, that resolves. Let them look first. Mm-hmm. Maybe they find a counter spell here. We shall see. Yeah. Yeah, I won't, I'll have to pay three mana plus the five in my yard here because Deluge is gone. So no digging. Got another hard counter for me? Cool. That was our first Deluge. They have no more. So we'll, we'll draw the rest of them and we'll be okay here, I think. Uh, okay, so let's go to our turn. And they're totally tapped out. This is a, the spot where I could get in with, like, a, an Anchorage here. I think I will. Because, again, they don't have March. Okay, we get to hit. And then I think I'm going to explore. Don't need that. And pass. So now, end step, I can make a huge shark token to start really putting pressure on them. They could Wrath, but it just kills a 1-1 one -one here. There's Teabag. Okay, that I should probably respond to. So let's exile our graveyard here. See if they let us dig. They might have a veto for this or something, but not much I can do about that. You just burned a veto. Do you have another one? They did a lot of deluging. They shouldn't let this resolve, because if I find a veto, they're not going to be able to veto my veto. They should veto the dig. Uh-oh. What just happened? Oh, okay, there we go. No veto? Come on. Oh my god, that's brutal. Okay. So I could make a 3-3 shark. I could force them to pay 4 mana here, which actually lets us resolve our Teferi uh, almost certainly on our turn. So they, they get to untap 2, they'll have 3 mana up. 
Uh, but I can swing with my Restless Anchorage, and then if they do something about that, they'll be tapped out and I can play Teferi here. Yeah. Let's see if they want to tap out for this. They should, and then they get to untap two lands, so they'll pass with three mana up, which is enough for j just one counter spell. Uh, but I'm going to try and pressure Teferi as well as uh, uh, cast my own Teferi here and see if I can get him. Could even cycle a shark to make a 1-1, one, one, but that seems unnecessary. Yep, and they draw. Not bad. Four memory deluges. Pretty lucky. Prairie stream, yeah. Two or more basic lands? That thing sucks. Wow. Okay, so they untap with four mana, right, because they play an untapped land here. Okay. Mm, sure. Wow, prairie stream. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I think those mana bases are just worse. They're just way worse. Okay, so am I going to go for Anchorage here? I think I will. I want to bait some sort of instant speed removal. If they Maybe they have a, a Wandering Emperor or something. Ah, there's a Get Lost. No. Okay, they only have two mana left. If I can resolve it to Fairy, I feel very good here. Are they going to fight over this? If they fight, I resolve Teferi, and I tuck their Teferi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I guess they could deluge it back and an untapped land and play it again. That would be very interesting. But I think I still have to do that. And then their Teferi tucks our Teferi, and we go round and round. But I have the pressure with the creature lands. It's huge here. Yeah, Get Lost is their only instant speed removal. So I get to pressure Teferi here, which is very important. Get a map token. Okay. Now, do I go for my own Teferi here? It's very risky. I don't think I do. Let's put this on this guy. I think I'm just going to... Oh, God. There's Veto. So I can cycle Shark into Veto here, which is pretty crazy. Let's pass the turn. They get to draw another card off Teferi. Yep. This is such a close game now. Holy crap. But they are using a lot of their clock. They're three minutes behind us now. Oh, Field of Ruin. Okay. Cycling land doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to go end step Shark Typhoon token here. See if they can deal with the 3-3 three, three Shark plus the Anchorage coming at Teferi next turn. They'll have to have two instant speed. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, they drew that Field of Ruin. It was pretty lucky. Uh, Sure. Last basic. Uh-oh. Our Field of Ruin is going to be a strip mine for us. Sure. So should I make a 1-1? One, one? I think I should just make a shark here. Let's go for 4-4 four, four shark. Okay. Let's see if we can kill Teferi. Draw? <laughs> They're deluging. They're looking for an answer. They know... Oh, they Field of Ruin, they, they tucked our Veto, yeah, shuffled away our Veto, yeah. Yeah, them having the untapped uh, Field of Ruin there in their turn was pretty good. There was no Field in play when I kept that Veto on top. They have three mana. Do they have an answer? We draw. Do you have an answer or not? Come on. No! Field of Ruin off the top. Yeah, we already have a Castle in play, I don't need to play... Do I need to play another Castle? Yeah, I do want to play another Castle here. So let's see if they have an answer to this. They don't. I feel pretty good here. Ooh. Should I try and resolve to fairy? I'm going to go for it here. I'm pretty sure this is just getting vetoed or whatever. Absorbed. Can't really do anything about that. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, they're at 12. Let's pass the turn. We've got two castles, so I get to start uh, double activating next turn. Darn. Not much I can do about him. I wonder if they... No, they're never minusing here, right? Are they minusing? Okay. I have two castles. It doesn't matter. If they minus three here, Teferi just dies to the 1-1 token. Yeah, they're looking at my castles going, oh shit. They're using a lot of time here thinking about this. They decide to plus. Yeah, that's correct. Replace yourself, Teferi. Replace yourself, because you're going to die. There's a verdict. Sure. Okay. All of Storm Giants. Uh, 
So I could field, and then I can still activate. What are they? Uh, let's let's kill. Let's kill this. No more basics to get, sadly. I only have five. I think they might only have five. So maybe both of us are strip mined here. No, they have six. Okay. Make a one one. Okay. Attack to fairy. <laughs> this game is crazy. This is game one. That's why the clock is so important here. <laughs> they draw. Yeah, I'm just going to double activate castle on end step here. I might scry two, but I think I should just double activate make one ones here, honestly. Force the wrath again. Yeah, they're cycling. They only have 14 cards in their deck too. Holy shit, because they drew four memory deluges this game. I drew one. <laughs> so they they saw they drew a lot of cards, way more than us. We did draw one of our digs, I guess, or our only dig, but what are they doing? Is this a giant shark? A 10 mana. 10 mana floating. What could this be? The only thing I can think of is a giant shark. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, they're obviously playing a different build than I am. Um, yeah. An 8-8 eight, eight shark. Okay. You're on your main phase here. Do they, they know that, right? Sure. Okay. They have no relevant lands. Yeah, the castle's making all the difference here. Uh, I get to swing it to fairy for three, and then I'm going to lock it down, probably. Um, eight eight, don't care. Don't care about the eight eight. Lock it down. Let's see if they have a, a counter spell for this. Otherwise, we pass. Yeah, lock it down. My tokens are coming back. Yours are not. Okay. Four mana left. Wandering Emperor? Sure. Emperor's good. A lot of clicking. A lot of clicking going on here. Okay. Ooh, Vantress has to die here. Eleven cards in their deck. Maybe I just weather the storm here and just deck them. That's an option. They don't attack. Are you serious? Wow. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't even care about this. They, they, they have 11 cards? They have less than 15 minutes now on their clock. Do I care about this? Did they scry? I don't. I don't care where they scryed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna field this thing. Uh oh yes, resolve. Hey, Soy Ulamog. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the squadron, Soy Ulamog. You are awesome. Uh, let's make a one-one. Uh, this is the blue-white version I'm playing. I like uh, I like this core list. Uh, there's some sideboard slots that you can switch around. I'm currently testing Kutzil's flanker, but I think in the deck or in the matchups that I want the graveyard hate, rest in peace is just too good, too effective. Um, so I I I think I'm going back to rest in peace. Kutzil's flanker is interesting, but it's it's three mana is a lot more than two, especially in the, the matches where you know. Every spell is super cheap and efficient, like against Blue Red Phoenix. Just trying to resolve a three mana spell is really tricky, and leave up, leave up interaction and whatever. Um, but it was interesting. I, I definitely think it's a cool uh, card to try. But sideboard slots, yeah, you can you can tweak a little bit. I think most of them are good, but like I'm playing a Dream Trawler where I could be playing the third Regal Caracal. I just don't want to craft one on Arena because they are totally useless in every format except randomly. This one, and this deck. Uh, okay. 
My opponent is wasting way too much time here. Way too much time. Yeah, they're going to deck. I'm going to stop on my upkeep and scry 2, I think, with Castle Vantress here. Should I double block the 2-2? Two -two? Probably, right? I think I will. 10 cards in their deck. Okay. Right. Field of Ruin. Hit my castle. Seems good. Yep. I don't have any more basics. But you knew that, didn't you? Ten cards in their deck. Can I beat... Can I make them deck here? I, I still have a castle and a Vantress? I think I can. Scry 2. Ooh, there's a get lost. I don't want to make disappear. I'll take get lost, though. And pass to their upkeep. And uh, get lost the Wandering Emperor, probably? Could just get lost the token here, but I can chump the token all day. Uh, sure. Boy, they are going to struggle to win here, I think. We'll see. I'm at 20 life still. I have a castle to chump. They're putting two more cards in their hand. Going to eight, going to seven. If they plus to fairy, that's going to six cards. And again, they're wasting too much time here with uh, these activations and deluging and all this crap. Sure. Okay. Mm hmm. Want to draw some more cards? They're not even activating to fairy here. <laughs> yep. Why not? No. Block. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna instant speed this. Yeah. Oh, Tawara, yeah. I'm at 17. Good luck, you've got seven cards. Oh, I'm drawing land. I should have stopped on my upkeep. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's let's bluff this uh, this card, though. Okay. They're not plussing to fairy, I love it. Block. Yes. Nice. How many fields were they playing? Three, right? One, two, three. Yeah, same as me. Could stop on my upkeep double scry here, depending on what I see. Uh, lockdown's pretty nice. Actually, yeah, lockdown should be good enough. Okay. Let's see if they have an answer to this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three... So I do need to play this land as well. Oof, get wrecked. Who knew? Temporary lockdown. Relevant in the blue-white mirror. They're at 11 minutes to my 18 here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gotta play quick. You gotta play quicker than that. <laughs> uh, they always have to fairy tuck mill. May not be a thing. Oh, if they ultimate to fairy, they can do that. But they can't, they can't do that if they're not plussing to fairy. So I'm not sure exactly how they're uh that's all pretty good yeah i will keep that on top we don't have to stop on our upkeep oh they found a castle nice a little late to fairy number two ah so now they're gonna do the to fairy tuck thing wow really Okay. Deal. Pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they know that trick. They can just, as long as they have one Teferi that they can keep replaying. I mean, eventually I fi I'll find a Dovin's Veto and that'll just end it, but... Yeah. I'll do one of these again. Oh, we know our top card. I probably don't need to scry two. Okay. 
see if this resolves. I presume their hand is all just counter magic here, so probably not. Uh, I should still scry regardless, shouldn't I, on end step? I have the mana to do it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I should still scry two here. Sure, we just all activating now? Sure. Do it. Ooh, I'll take that first. Thank you. <clears throat> 23 cards to their four. What's their hand? Huh. Are they going to let this resolve? Yep. Not very good anymore, that card. As long as the auto pay, uh, auto tapper doesn't tap my castle, I should be fine here. Okay. You're up. Nice. I think we're going to see them deck here. I mean, again, they could just loop to fairy over and over, but that just means they're not drawing anything new ever again for the rest of the game. I still have 20 cards in my deck. Still got, like, a shark typhoon, a teferi. I have all my goddamn... Yeah, two of my three deluges still in my deck. Temp lockdown. Okay. Okay. Nine minutes on their clock. Game one. This is game one. Okay. I think I'm going to stop on upkeep. Scry. I'll take a veto. Okay. Now we can just stop to fairy cold. Uh, yeah, good call. Should have scooped a while ago, bud. Okay, we take game one. They have nine minutes on their clock. Narset comes in, Hullbreaker, Mystical, obviously. Seed Shark's good here. I don't love Narset's reversal. Uh, I don't think that card's very good. Change the equation is not good. The verdicts, the lockdowns are all bad. Hey, Garethor, thank you for the sub! 24 months. The full two years. I think you just unlocked a new badge. You've got a new uh, sub badge. Garethor, you're a legend! Say something, Garanthor, so that your intro music triggers and everybody knows who the Dark Lord of the DF16 channel truly is. Yes, Master. I was raised in your image. Now show yourself. Let us hear your intro music. Um, I am a legend. There you go. Is it going to trigger? Uh-oh. Where's the... There it is. <laughs> yes. Yes, there it is. Thank you again, Joe. You're awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see you soon. We'll see you see you in a few short months, I imagine. Um, okay, so is this everything? Uh, do I want to change any of this? Farewell's a weird one. I could definitely cut farewell for like, yeah, Narset's reversal. I'm gonna try Kutzil's flanker. I know Otaku is telling us to try this in the in the mirror. I'm not a hundred percent sold on it, but I'll try. Cutting a make disappear, is that right? I'll cut a march. I'll cut one of my marches. Okay, let's run it like that. I'm a legend, yes. And there's that purple badge. Yeah, that is a nice badge. 24 month subscriber gets that beautiful purple, royal purple badge. Beast Darth Vader, my Palpatine? Uh, no. I was gonna say, because, okay, people don't know this, but hold on, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. I'm gonna out you, Garanth or Joe, if you don't more. I should keep his identity a secret, but. I know Joe in real life. I'll just leave it at that. I know I know him in real life, and um, uh, he he's he, he was a lot of the reason I, I I went into a lot of the things I did growing up. Actually, this is crazy. But do you see that that game over there, Hero Quest? That game he gave me as a kid. I still have it, and it was one of the big reasons I got into fantasy stuff in the first place. And it's funny, years later, he got into magic because of me, and some of my other, you know, cousins and uncles and stuff got into magic, which is really funny. My, uh, one of my, uh, yeah, anyway, I, I should stop talking now. Um, am I gonna keep this? I think I'm mulling this. Okay, I can keep this. Teferi can go to the bottom. Okay, they have nine minutes on their clock. I think I can beat this. We have 16. Yeah. 
There you go. Gambling away. You guys want to do a little number game? Anybody beats me, I'll give you... 5,000 wings. That's right, it's casino day today. All the games are live. You can play slots, you can gamble, you can do roulette, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'll do a little number game. All you gotta do is type exclamation mark number, and if you beat my 76, I will give you 5,000 wings that you can- Oh, what? Haiku tied me? <laughs> uh... The bet is if you beat me, not if you tie me. So you get nothing. That's like finishing on the bubble. Otaku gets it. There you go. Otaku gets uh, five Gs. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, wait. You can only spend it here. That's right. Wings are the channel currency. They're separate from your channel points. Wings are used to enter the giveaways. We have the wing champ at the end of the month. Um, wow, Waft Turtle with a 92. Uh, you can see the leaders here currently on the wing leaderboard. Waft Turtle with over 100,000 wings, Torf with 93. The full leaderboard, of course, is right here. You should be able to find yourself there. Whoa, that's an early field. This is on my end step. Uh, you know what? I'm going to deluge here. Okay. I'm going to deluge. One, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I don't care what they resolve on turn three, right? So they just let me deluge here. They're tapped out. I guess they could Mystical Dispute it. That's fine. Ooh, they have a Dispute. Not bad. Okay. So be it. I think we'll be okay here. Still up on cards. Have our land drops. Lands are the most important thing in the match, right? You're just trying to never, never miss a land drop. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I see Kutzel's Flanker could be really good in this match. Uh, not getting Mystical Disputed is huge. Also, um, just being, uh, you know, not D-Stroke or Dovin's Vetoable is huge. Uh, okay, let's field. And then pass. Getting to the point where I'm going to start trying to find a window to put this to Fairy down. They miss land drops. They miss land drops. Is it Field of Ruin Hall here? Very tempting. I will. I think I will. This might bait them into casting a spell on their end step, which is really good too. If they go for a deluge here or something, I get to, or, you know, an emperor, I get to veto it, untap Teferi with veto. Or no, I won't, yeah, I, if I resolve the Teferi, I'll have veto up. Um, uh, more blue, I think. Do you want to play something? Ooh, they're, they're going for it. Are they going to do it? Cycle Shark for two. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Mm, I don't really care about the shark. <clears throat> Mystical's nice. Uh, so if they have Veto, I can't Mystical it here. I think I'm just going to pass. We'll take our lumps from Shark. I don't really care. They're at seven and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. I could flash in the flanker here. I think I'm just going to go March Zero on that. They have a Field of Ruin now. Wow, they burn a Veto on a March. Holy crap. Okay, deal. Uh, Seed Shark? Can't Veto that. So if it's Mystical Dispute, I get to fight over this. I can Veto plus leave up Mystical Dispute still on their turn. So they can't resolve a Teferi even if they have a land drop. Because uh, they'll only have seven mana. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Ooh. Making me pay four. I can Mystical back here. And then they can't pay. And then I pay the other trigger. And we have a Seed Shark. <laughs> wow. Down to one card. Okay. So, I mean, they're down to one card here. Uh, now I can't counter this, so the shark happens. Or the shark gets countered, I mean. And then I've got Veto up. Uh, and if they don't do anything... Oh, if they don't do anything, 
Yeah, I I'm gonna go for Teferi here now because I have Veto up. They just burned a bunch of Vetoes. The odds of them having a third veto are very small, and that should be game. Teferi's going to be very hard for them to get rid of now with double veto up. It's never going to happen. Nope. GG? That's what I thought. Hey, didn't go to time though, right? I guess there's that. Um, hold on. Can I keep this in the dark on the draw? Probably not, right? This is tap tapped. I've got a mulligan this. So the reason I say Irrigated Farmland is not a land that belongs in this deck anymore. Uh, I don't want to play tap lands on my first two turns. You just can't afford to. You have to leave up. It's the reason March is better than Lay Down Arms. Just You need instant speed removal on turn two to mess with their uh, ridiculous plays in this format that you can make on turn two and three. Um, I think I'm going to ditch Veto in the dark here. Again, I don't. if I'm playing into the blue-white mirror, I'm going to be sad, but fuck. Oh, oh wait, okay, I was gonna say blue-white control and I just put the veto on the bottom? No! It's... It's a deck with Siren, I don't know what I'm playing against, is this... Is this Explorer still? I think it is, right? What the fuck is this? Are you serious right now? Oh my god, I'm playing 4 March against this deck. This game, oh, and Temporary Lockdown? You can't play in Soul Artifact in, in this economy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have so many answers to this to this combo. Hmm, how do I do it though? This is the question. So I can Hengigate Pathway, get lost. That gives them two maps though. That's terrible here, right? I think I'm just gonna go tap land march the token. That's too funny. Four marches. Oh, this should be this should be an easy match. Like they're all in on this janky combo, and uh, four marches just gets them so good. Not to mention lockdown. Lockdown exiles everything: the enchantment, the the tokens, the little creatures. Wow, are you three and zero? Oh, really? I don't think these players are all three and zero. Oh. I think they're just you know because that's how the matchmaking works. If it can't find somebody with the Okay, yeah, temporary lockdown gonna be real nice here. Yikes. Oops, Wrath your board. Darn. Oh boy. Yup. When everything is cheap and powerful, temporary lockdown is just the best wrath. Mm-hmm. You have another in soul? Oh wow. Oh no, warden. Okay, scry. Not bad. Probably gotta get lost that warden, leave up change the equation for their in soul or whatever it is they have here. They scry to the bottom. Deal. And they're out of gas. They just have one card left. Um, I could... Huh. So the only thing they could have that matters here would be a spell... No, I, I should just kill this now before they untap. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, you like maps? There you go. Even more. Go nuts. Might as well. Ooh, Michiko's. Yeah, temporary lockdown is going to be very good here. Going to bring in the fourth lockdown. Four marches, four lockdowns. It's going to be very tough for them to win. I have to basically get screwed by the variants or something. Like, I can't get mana screwed, mana flooded. Or just draw, like, you know, Teferi, Teferi. <laughs> I don't know, farewell when, when I don't have six mana. Yeah, all in, huh? Okie dokie. March is pretty good. March is pretty good. Okay. No. Actually, I should just make this disappear. No. GG. Not yet. How about now? Nope. Okay. They're fighting. They're fighting the good fight. Let me find a Wandering Emperor to take over the game, please. They have a land. Okay, you're up. Can I fight? Or a memory deluge would just immediately pull me really far ahead. Um, wow, that's interesting. I think I let that resolve. It does let them in soul artifact now, but I just march the, the token. It's still March still trades for a card here. Ah, they immediately draw. Okay. Yeah, make this spear one of our worst cards here, because everything in their deck is two or one mana. Field of Ruin. 
Okay, I don't think they're going to play Creature Lands. They might play Mirex in a deck like that. Uh, I'll take one. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Mm, pass. <clears throat> Five cards in their hand now, huh? Um... No. Yeah, that card is so good. God, Spyglass Siren. The new Thraben Inspector, basically. So should I make a 2-2 two -two here? I think I will. Change the equations huge. Uh, get to counter their next powerful play here. Yeah, sure. Okay, so that's that must be what they have. They have a bunch of... Uh, so, Shark being a nice little two-for-one there. Three-for-one? Two cards, and I drew a card. Mm. Oh, no land drop? I was hoping to make a land drop there, but all these cards are still good against them. The, the Wraths. They scoop. Nice. Okay. Game two. It's going to be even harder for you, game two, I think. I'm going to bring in another lockdown... Mystical pretty good here? Maybe? That's weird. One mana to counter their one mana blue cards. <laughs> Counters this. Ugh, I don't know if Mystical's good. Is Mystical good? Mm. So they're making big dorks on the ground. If they can manage to pump a flyer with this, that's one of the few ways they can get through. Shark ty or a Seed Shark is good at blocking flyers. They're going to bring in Mystical Disputes against me, right? I'm going to bring in Dispute here. And Make Dispute seems terrible. Dovin's Veto. I think the Wraths are all good. Teferi's probably just too slow and clunky. Maybe I will bring in Seed Sharks. They're just cheaper. This... Yeah, that's not amazing. Anybody else have an idea here? Those Those two cards... Yeah, 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 Vizier of Many Faces, yeah. The way those two cards interacted was so ridiculous. I, I, I don't know if you can find this article, but go and look at the, um, just, I don't know how you, Google, like, Josh Utter Layton World's Write-Up or something, World's Report or something. You might be able to find the article still. I, I don't know, I, I can't remember who he, I think it was written for Channel Fireball, so maybe it's not available. But, um... He literally goes over it. I, I can't, right now, I can't think of that. But, but like, after this, I can try and find... Because, man, the corner cases were so bizarre. He's like, if you, if you activate Scarab God's ability to reanimate the clone from the graveyard, and then the clone ETB is copying Scarab God, you get this and this happens and blah, blah, blah. And it's like the weirdest shit happens. And you're like, what? No way it works like that. And he, and he said, like, there's, how does that work like that? And they, they just said, they don't know. It just does. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Um, I guess I'll run it back like this. I think our deck is very well set up to beat this, uh, blue-white combo deck here. Blue-white combo built around a two-mana sorcery speed enchantment that has to go on a token. Or an artifact, I guess, which I don't think they... Well, they play the, um, the snake, right? So you play the snake, and then you cast in soul on it, it becomes a 5-5 five, five plus whatever the, the, the plus one counters you had on it already. Like, that's pretty good, but... <clears throat> the Scarab God, yeah. Yeah, I, but but there was some. It, he gave multiple examples of different things you could do that were so ridiculous. Like if you again, if you activate Scarab God and the creature you reanimate with the Scarab God's ability is the other thing, then this like it was some weird convoluted thing. I, I've got to find the article again. Shit. I mean, temporary lockdown's very good against them. I think I'm mulliganing. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to keep Otawara. I think bouncing the, the token that they animate is, is really good. Um, yeah, I think this is a definitely a better six-card hand than our seven-card hand. Okay. I would love to lead with Anchorage, but I think I have to just leave up March for the Ensoul here if they have it. Now, they know I have March. So they go Inspector. 
Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wedding announcement. Nice. Haven't played against that in Explorer, but this is uh, kind of a janky brew. Opponent playing a jank pile. Wait a minute. 53 cards. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, they were on the play. What am I saying? Okay, so they haven't... Yeah. My turn. Uh, okay. Could leave up the march to exile the spyglass siren, but they're just going to wedding announcement. I can't do anything about that, so. Cool. Maybe they side out their combo? <clears throat> yep, it's a good card. You need to find more actions, so uh, I like that they're drawing cards here, actually, and not playing things to the board. It's better for us. Okay. So let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, I can threaten to an activate Anchorage next turn. Also got Wandering Emperor potentially next turn. Take my lumps. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this. Let's see if they uh, counter this or something. I'm gonna try and exile Siren here. <clears throat> I kind of want to beta counter so that I can have Emperor resolve. We'll see. Very tempting to spell pierce this if they have it. No? They would have to tap out to Mystical Dispute it, but... Okay, they let it resolve. Mm. Okay. They draw a card. Come on, you're not drawing enough cards, dude? What are you doing over there? <clears throat> Wedding announcement going to make a dork this turn. Would flip in Emperor right now. But I think this is fine. We'll take our one. Ardenvale going to start pumping out blockers next turn. So maybe I should save this Emperor for a um, flying threat that I can't beat. Ooh. Okay, so if they have a counter spell to back this up, we're post-combat. I think I'm going to go Memory Deluge here. And before they play Shredder, that way if they have a counter, they don't get the Connive trigger. Shit. Um, I could take a Dig. I have one in the yard. I just have to take Emperor Mystical here, I think. Okay. Sure. That's a good one. Uh, I don't have a march to leave up here, but I can definitely leave up Mystical Dispute. Oh, this is coming in tapped. Wow, I almost fucked that up again with... Oh, no, 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 I have a planes. What am I saying? I was looking for Hallowed Fountain. I'm like, oh, no. Okay, and let's leave up the blue. Yeah, Verdicto. We found one of our wraths. Can't counter that one. And your go, friendo. Nice little two for one there. I guess not really. The the Thraben Inspector replaced itself, but they drew extra cards and they're still even with us on cards. Um, I don't care about this. I can always Wandering Emperor that away. <clears throat> yep. Not bad. I don't know. There's an argument for disputing it there. Maybe I should have just used my mana. Sneck in the yard. Mm-hmm. Okay, pass to them. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was greedy, letting that Shredder resolve. Let's we'll see what happens here. I've got Emperor with two mana up, plus Mystical Dispute. Uh, I could always Otawara and... Um, Reset the, the Ledger Shredder. They can't counter the Otawara, but I think before I Otawara, I'm definitely going to go for Emperor here. Let's see what happens. I will fight over this. Ah, can't fight over that one. Okay. 
I take five. So they do side in dispute or a veto. Good. Good to know. Again, no idea what these kind of decks play. Uh... I could Emperor right now. They need another Veto to interact. I think I'm going to go for it. And then uh, if they do counter this, maybe I just March. Holy fuck. That's lucky. Very lucky. Um... Hmm. No, let's pass. I mean, I could still... I could March there. Uh, no, but I would have to tap both mana. Yeah, never mind. Hmm. They're incentivized to play two spells pre-combat to connive here. Didn't put them on double veto there. That's pretty lucky. I think uh, my opponent got very lucky this game. I think that's fine. They should target Inspector here, right? Yeah. And let's see if this resolves. Probably not going to, though. Nope, no more counters. Great. That means I'm not dead. Get to Otawara that Shredder next turn. Nice. And they can't attack me. Michiko turning into a creature just gets blocked all day by Arden Veil tokens. I could also block with Restless Anchorage. I could activate Restless Anchorage, block, and then Otawara. That's also quite good. <clears throat> Okay, pass to you. Yeah, let's see what happens here. I'm going to activate Restless Anchorage. I want to bait another spell or whatever from them. Yeah. I can still Mystical Dispute as well. I want to make them think we're dead to... Like, I have to block here, and then they're... Yeah, good, good, good. They, they It baits their removal. Yes. Okay, so now I go... Bounce this. Okay. And I can still dispute. Now when they replay the Shredder, I just dispute it, and that's it. Nice. Nice little, uh, nice little line there, I think. Go for it. They need to have another... They need to have Mystical Dispute to, to, to back this up. Otherwise, uh, no bueno. Or a land and another Dobin's Veto, but I don't think that's... Um... Nice one. Okay, they're done with the Michikos, right? Which card do I care about more? Wow, this is tough, actually. Okay, I actually let this resolve. Fucking shit. I did not want a land there. That is the last goddamn card in the world I want. Fucking shit. Go. God, anything. Temporary lockdown. I have three left. Four? I have four fucking lockdowns. Give me one. Just wipe their board. <sighs> Frustrating. Needed to find uh, just a little bit more action. We only had the one deluge. If I had found one more Deluge or a Quick Study or something, maybe I would have been okay. But this doesn't have Haste, so this flips in. And uh, again, any Wrath, any Temp Lockdown, we're good here. Uh, yeah. Fuck. I guess I should have left Memory Deluge up. God damn, that's so fucking annoying. Yeah. Okay, okay. You got lucky on the play. Now we're back on the play. You can never win. Let's let's kick the shit out of them. Oh, we have to get very unlucky there. They had to find multiple sideboard cards, both their vetoes. Um pretty good. I think I could have played it more carefully too, but our memory deluge wasn't great there. Uh couldn't couldn't take like another march. Couldn't take couldn't find a temporary lockdown. Um, I think I have to mulligan that. Okay, this is good. I don't need veto here. Okay. Good, good, good. Play your one drops. Sure. 
Mm-hmm. Ah, there we go. Now they're in deep shit. Um. Oh, I started a huge debate here. Hold on. Definitely need to play Devere versus Blue White game one. Sure, couch out if you want. We'll we'll finish this event. We can jam. Ugh, I'm gonna play code names very soon. I don't know if I have time. <clears throat> okay, I'm definitely gonna take one here. Um, this is only match four. I've got to play one more match, and then we're gonna play code names. Okay. Wow. Do you not have a land here? Oh boy. Temp lockdown is gonna be ugly. Ooh, I don't even have to shock myself. Lock it down, baby. You're on quarantine now. Oof. I play four of those, dude. Four. Can you believe I didn't draw one last game? That's how you won. <laughs> you won because I didn't draw one of my wraths. I drew the Supreme Verdict much later, but... Ooh, Dark Steel. I love that uh, March doesn't give a shit about Indestructible. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. They immediately have the exact same board. They're down a couple more cards, though. We got a nice little two-for-one there. Mm-hmm. Shit. Okay, we pass. I could ex exile the Shredder here, but I need to leave up March for the Ensoul Artifact, but I didn't see one last game. I, I, I'm starting to think they sided that out against me because it's so bad against March. Which means I should have just marched the Shredder there. But I, I still like leaving it up here if they have um, Michiko's goofy bullshit, then we can, you know, kill it with that. Yep. That one. That's the one. Okay... Haven't played a spell yet, so still two away from triggering big shreds here. Should I draw two cards or should I go for the march here? I think no matter what I play, they're gonna they're gonna counter. Let's go for this. Let them counter that. Or not. Bonus. Yeah, Michiko's not looking too hot here, to be honest. Um, leaving up March... No, I'm gonna play this tapped pass. <clears throat> I could play untapped land so I can Wandering Ember plus March. Oh, nice. Um... Hmm. Two cards in their hand. Do I leave up Emperor here? Russian Emperor, Exile. Okay. I think this is fine. So they side and get lost. Good to know. Okay, need to find another Wrath here. We have three more lockdowns, two Supreme Verdicts. Mm, they only have two cards left. Yeah, so Machiko's and maybe one counter spell. I still feel pretty good here. Machiko's this turn means I can march whatever they target. They're probably going to target Spyglass Siren, but... <clears throat> yep. What are you going to target? Mm, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I have to pay two mana to exile with, with march anyway, so I can't Emperor March. Um, so what does this get? For each artifact, so it's going to get plus two, plus two. Uh, sure. Yep. Sure. Hmm, okay, so I think I'm going to flip in Emperor... Gain life, take some damage. Probably have to march that wedding announcement. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> they waste the Machikos here. And they've got their um, wedding announcement here. All it does is make a 1-1. I'm going to march it on their second main next turn. 
so that it stops making dudes. So they'll get precisely one creature off this. Last card is... Sure. Should I just march that now? Oh, it's... Yeah, protection from multicolored. I think I'm just going to march this now. Peace. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Let's see if we can find a land drop here. No, I don't want that. Uh, one more. I can activate Anchorage. That doesn't really matter. Let's see if we can hit a land drop here. There it is. Okay, pass with Dispute and Study Up and a Blocker. Feels pretty good. Obviously, I wanted to march that uh, wedding announcement, but I think killing the Stone Coil is actually better there. That thing has Trample. I don't have any other removal. Hmm. Okay. Crack that clue. Not yet. <clears throat> Okay. Sorry, gonna catch up with you guys in a second. Time to take out the garbage. <laughs> Harvey Specter and close this shit out. I don't know who that is. Oh, on suits. Okay, nice. All right, have a good one, Chubb. <laughs> Taking out the garbage. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Oops. Oops. There goes your board. Draw that card, quick, quick. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, let's pass. Yeah, not one, but two more lockdowns here. Yikes. Wonder if they have another get lost. Ooh. Mm. Okay. I think I can use the land to block here. <clears throat> I don't think I'd rather keep my Emperor alive. I've got Lockdown going. I'm going to Lockdown and wipe this. And uh, then Emperor. Eating the land as well here? Oh no, it's non-land, right. And with Dispute plus change the equation up, I feel pretty good here. Nice top deck. No. Okay, come on. Find a finisher now. Let's go. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Bonk. Okay. Let's end this. You got one draw. Is it good? Is it a blocker? Why are you hesitating, bro? GG. 4 and 0. Oh. The last two events we did, I went 4 and 1, both events. Please, I just need four goddamn play in points. Can I get there? 16 play in points. I need 20 to enter a qualifier play in event, which I want to play this weekend. One more win. We're 4 and 0. Oh. Come on, baby. One time with blue white control. 414150. Oh. Can we do it? Let's see. Let's get the bets in. Will we win this match? I bet hell yes. I shouldn't jinx myself with the betting here, but eight ball are we gonna win? Most likely. Okay. What are we battling against? They win the die roll, damn. Okay, already losing, unfortunate. It's crazy. The, the more power creep happens in magic, the more the die roll becomes better and better and more and more deterministic. You know, the die roll almost determines who's going to win the match in a lot of matches just based on how powerful the decks are, right? Um, and how much interaction decks play and stuff. It's another reason I really feel like irrigated farmland and, and playing less tap lands is better. The more powerful cards become, like the two drops and the three drops are so powerful, you have to answer all of them now. Inties and smugglers copters and... It just makes it so that you can't um, 
Well, this is a good hand. I'm going to keep this in the, on the draw, though. It makes it so you can't really afford to play, like, tap lands on turn two and three if you're trying to interact. You just get steamrolled. Like, you, I don't know. You've either got to be playing the fables and the, the crazy broken stuff yourself or in a control deck like this. If you're reactive, you, you can't just not have interaction up on turn one and two. You have to have interaction up. Keep. Which means no tap lands, uh, lots of marches and things like that. Like the whole deck kind of, you know, leans in the same direction. Mm, I'll lead with basic island. Oh, it's the mirror. You got to be kidding me. The control mirror. This is going to be such a slog. Oh. Okay, well, god damn it. I was hoping to wrap this up quick. Uh, we are going to be playing code names very soon, but this might take a while. On the play in Timeless, exactly, exactly, Joe Lequin. And Legacy was like that too. At least Legacy has Force of Will, though. In Timeless, you don't even have Force of Will, so what are you doing? Like, you're just you're just dead to the, the, the Charbelcher or whatever, the Necro or whatever insane shit they have, right? No Force of Negation, no Force of Will? It's tough. Okay, time is going to be a factor here. Got to play quick. My opponent's already playing a little slowly. Mm. I am going to counter this. It lets them Emperor this turn. I don't think I give a shit though, right? I don't know if I'm cutting them off of lands. That's my only hope here is that they don't have a land drop and I'm, I'm hurting them. But Oh, but they don't do anything. Great. Great. Temporary lockdown, a dead draw, two dead cards in our hand. That said, in the last blue-white mirror, I had these two dead cards, and they ended up being relevant later in the game. Sure. Don't really care about that. <clears throat> With double lockdown in my hand, doesn't really matter. Okay, we are going to go for end-step deluge. They are going to fight over this. And uh, do they have a land drop? They pr If they don't have... Okay, I was going to say. Deluge. Don't care if they counter this. You got it. Ooh, got a veto out of their hand. Nice. Much better than a make disappear. Um, Pass. Still don't care about the uh, two damage here. As long as I have lands, I'm happy. They have lands. Pretty lucky. Okay... They haven't drawn any cards, neither have I, so I guess we're both kind of lucky we're making all our land drops here. Uh, let's go to our turn. Pass to them. So now I've got Wandering Emperor plus Veto up here. Ooh, they miss a land drop. I'm going to be missing a land drop next turn too, which is kind of rough, but... See if they mess with this uh, emperor here. Uh, I'm very tempted to minus, but I'm actually just going to eat this shark and see what happens. I'm tempted to minus one, I should say, but I'm going to eat this shark. Upkeep. Upkeep? Oh, I don't care. Sure. It wasn't making a dude this turn anyway. We'll take those maps, though. Hmm... Okay, so now we have our Deluge up. Let's pass to them. Deluge. Got any more counters? Deal. Another Veto. Wow, that's great. So two Vetoes down. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I know it's probably weird to hear somebody say, Oh, wow. You know, they're, they countered my spell? That's great. <laughs> Should I activate Hall of Storm Giants and smash for seven here? There's nothing they could do to stop this except flash in an Emperor and uh, make a token to block, but that's uh, that's not worth my turn. Fields for days, huh? Mm. Should I feel their Restless Anchorage now? I think I will. I think I will. 
They can answer by feeling my hall or something if they really want. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep, eat my hall. It's gonna happen no matter what. Can't avoid that. Okay. They scoop? What? Huh? Why? Why did they scoop? What? I'm confused. Uh, okay. Guess. I'm confused. Why did they scoop? I hear mirrors are attractive. Okay, nice one, wait for fate. Very nice, okay. Mirrors are attractive, folks, that's right. It's wait for fate. He's here all week. Try the buffet, and we win, just like that. Okay, well that was anticlimactic. Wow. My opponent just like, you know what, fuck it. I don't wanna play a control mirror right now. Wait a minute, I don't have two hours. My opponent clearly knows what they're doing. Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 4-1, four, 4-1, one, four, one, and a 5-0 in three best of three events. That, that record speaks for itself, I think, for Blue-Eye Control.